How's it going guys? FFS Facts here and today we're going to be talking about Super Smash Bros Ultimate Top 5 Characters with the Most Potential. Now please bear in mind this is my list and uh, based off the gameplay by I've seen and the um, things or uh, frame data, the buffs, um, how Super Smash Bros Ultimate plays in itself and how the characters get ben benefit from it. So this is just my personal outlook and from what I can see and what gameplay I've known of. So without further ado, let's just right into it. For number 5. I believe Ganondorf is going to be a pretty good contender for uh, mid to top tier with his new moveset uh, being pretty uh, aesthetic wise pretty well. He now wields a sword like he should have had from the beginning except not being a Captain Falcon clone. He has pretty nice frame data. Uh, his, uh, he benefits a lot from the um, neutral neutral uh, air um, neutral air uh, buff or uh, less ending lag for uh, less air lag or ending lag for uh, Overall, for Super Smash Bros. Open, I think he benefits the most because even though his uh, his uh, neutral air was pretty good to begin with, this helps uh, cement it as a pretty good one, along with his forward air being pretty good. The only thing that is disappointing about Ganondorf is the fact that his uh, Ganon side or Ga uh, side B cannot uh, take opponents down with him as they can be mashed out of, which is pretty unfortunate. But otherwise, I think Ganondorf is pretty solid for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For number four on the list, I believe Dr. Mario is a pretty good character that has been pretty uh, underplayed. His tournament results weren't pretty good in, in Smash 4, and he had a lot of unlocked uh, potential, but just not enough people dedicated to playing him, as Mario was the far superior character. He had everything, he, everything about Mario was better. His uh, air speed, his, uh, you know, ground speed, his uh, combo game, his recovery was better. Dr. Mario can get pretty gimped pretty badly, but now, looking at the things that Dr. Mario has uh, obtained now, with a new kind of cape, uh, animation that could change up his playstyle, along with the fact that his um, down uh, neutral, uh, not neutral, air, uh, down, what am I saying? Um, uh, down B, yeah, down, down B, not down B, uh, air B, I don't know, uh, that has a, it has a spike now, and that could be really beneficial for Dr. Mara as a whole, and I think he can benefit the most out of that. Moving on to number three, I believe Ike is a good uh, candidate for number th the number three spot for me. Um, just like Ganondorf, with the overall improvement of uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, giving characters more uh, better uh, and live on neutral air, I believe I can benefit a lot with his neutral game being more potent, along with some of his uh, other moves being pretty uh, buffed and pretty nice. Even though some moves have received uh, penalties on percentage-wise, uh, Ike suffers just less end lag in general with most, most of his moves. His recovery is still pretty good. Um, it can challenge many of other characters. Uh, his, uh, not, not, uh, not his uh, recovery, sorry. His new, uh, not new, his uh, special B, uh, with the fa uh, being uh, Blue Flame or Aether, uh, receiving a pretty good buff. The fact that it at full charge, it can have three pillars, which is, gives him a way better option. Uh, safer option for edge guarding, as normally I could be punished pretty badly with certain characters with his um, uh, special B uh, charge. And for number two and number one, I'm going to be talking about number two, Pichu, and number one, Roy. Now, why I think uh, for number two, Pichu would be one of the more better characters for my list. Uh, when other characters have probably received way better buffs than him, uh, uh, I'm not going to assume it's gender. Um, Pichu in general has received really good uh, buffs on most of uh, its moveset uh, with uh, doing less damage to itself as along with having uh, trip properties with his, uh, with oh my god I just did it, I'm just going to assume it's a he, uh, he uh, with his uh, down tilt being pretty good with the trip effect along with electricity properties which can help Pichu a lot along with being a smaller target is uh, especially useful as long as Peach, Pikachu had the same experience with ha being having a smaller uh, hitbox meaning it's just more harder to hit Pichu in general but being more fragile even though Pichu does more damage to uh, himself he can still benefit from this with Rage if Rage is still considered a thing in Super Smash Bros Ultimate depending on how uh, competitive play they see how they might want to take that out but Ultimately, Pichu can benefit from this, and he's, it's just in general, Pichu is way better than his, uh, uh, not, melee counterpart. And for number one, Roy. Now, similar treatment with Roy, um, how he's improved a lot from melee into the transition of Smash 4, as Pichu was not in Smash 4. 
But Roy in Smash 4 had was really good. In my opinion, he was one of the more better... He's, he's on par with Lucina, I would say, on or Lucina or, or Marf. It's just there was not enough tournament results to justify uh, Roy's uh, rank or tier. And I feel like Roy can really help a lot with uh, the fact that uh, with Neutra being better, and along with his Dancing Blade, which, uh, which is a general thing with Chrom, Lucina, and Marp, his Dancing Blade being uh, much quicker, much more faster, he has much less ending lag on some of his uh, sports. Force Smash being his most troublesome move when it comes to having the most end lag, as he can be punished pretty badly, but his his neutral air along with forward air being able to connect way better with each other, and taking less... Uh, uh, as as bad as it's not less skill to do, is much more better. Uh, more players can get into Roy, resulting in more tournament results. As Roy is more, in general, more character, more, more, almost all the characters that benefit from using neutral air to, or forward air to get most of their combos benefit the most. This goes with Ike and Ganondorf. I believe these characters receive the best buffs or the best uh, out of the Smash Super Smash Bros. Five or Smash Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, engine improvement. So, and that's on my list, guys. If you guys like it, make sure you leave a like and comment below what you think and subscribe. See you around. Peace.